Good morning everybody, this is Ben back again and now it's time for another collection video in which for this video I'm going to now re-show you guys all my Steven Spielberg films, which, because as you know, um, or may maybe may not know, but it has updated a bit, so um, you could probably tell because, well, if you've seen my older videos of this, because the last time I did this was in 2020, I think it was, or 2019, I don't remember when, but it's but it's been a long time since I've done this, so, but since it has updated, if, you know, if you've seen my, uh, birthday movie update, then you'll, you can probably tell, so, so anyways, let's go ahead and get right to this. First up, we have Jaws from 1975. No critic review, but for features, it has a documentary of introduction by Steven Spielberg, spotlight on location, the making of Jaws, deleted scenes, and the original theatrical trailers. This is a two-tape set. Tape one has the movie, and then tape two has the bonus features. Kind of like how with DVDs, how we split onto two discs, one with the movie, and then another one with the features, that's kind of what that is. Kind of interesting, but... Anyways, next up, we have Close Encounters of the Third Kind. This is from 1977, the movie is. Spectacular, brilliant Close Encounters deserves an historic place in movie entertainment by Jack Quill of Newsweek. Got the label and the print date. Next up, we have Raiders of the Lost Ark from 1981 which is the first Indiana Jones movie, as you know. The most incredible series of action and stunt set pieces I've ever seen in a movie by Roger Ebert's movie Home Companion. The, there's no label, it fell off um, from somebody who used to own this, and then we got the end label. Next up, we have E.T. the Extraterrestrial. This came out a year after Raiders in 82. We got the label right here, and then an end label, plus it has green reels and a green lid, and also a hologram sticker with the 1963, I think, or 1962 Universal logo on it, which is pretty cool. Here's Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom. This is from 1984. Yep, this film is maybe too intense for younger children since this and Gremlins were both controversial for their level of violence to the point where Steven Spielberg decided to insist to the MPAA, which is now known as the MPA, to establish the PG-13 rating. So that's just a little history for those who do not know that of how PG-13 came about. But anyways, moving on, we have Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade. This is from 1989. The Temple of Doom is from 84. I think I mentioned that, but I don't remember. It's the greatest adventure in film history by a Jack Garner of Get a News Service. Here we have the label, and then the end label. Next up, we have Jurassic Park. This is from 1993. This and the next film are both from 93. Since they were both released in one year. We got the label right here. And then again, no print date. Next up, we have the other one from 1993, Schindler's List. This won the Oscar for Best Picture as well as Best Director. This is one of two movies that Spielberg won Best Director. This is a two tape set since this is a three hour film. We got the first cassette right here and then we have the second one right here. This is a former blockbuster rental. So, so yep. Here we have the sequel to the Jurassic Park, the Lost World Jurassic Park, which is from 1997. This is the next one or from 97. Terrifically entertaining edge of your seat adventure by Stephen Holden of New York Times. We got the label, which is a black sticker label, and then no print date. 
Next up, we have the other one from 1997, Amistad, which is um, Morgan Freeman, Anthony Hopkins, Jaiman Honso, and Matthew McConaughey. Absolutely Unforgettable by Jeffrey Lyons of WNBC-TV. Amistad is a superlative achievement by Gene Schell the Today. This was also Steven Spielberg's first film he directed for DreamWorks, who would later go on to distribute most of Steven Spielberg's films until uh, 2005 or 2006. I'm not sure when, but they still use the company name for future films. Um, like War Horse and all that, and Lincoln. But anyways, print date is October 18, 2000. So this is a reprint. I'm going to set that there so that this stack of tapes here don't fall. Here we have Saving Private Ryan from 1998 with Tom Hanks, Edward Burns, Matt Damon, and Tom Sizemore. This is the other film he won Best Director. You got the label, and the print date is April 20th, 1999. Here we have AI Artificial Intelligence with Haley Joel Osment and Jude Law. Steven Spielberg's AI is Extraordinary by Lisa Schwartzbaum of Entertainment Weekly. This is a 2001 film. AI is Pure Magic by Michael Wilmington of Chicago Tribune. New York Observer hails this as a masterpiece and Rolling Stone applauds this as unmistakably the real work of a real filmmaker. And Roger Ebert or Ebert and Roper says this film is filled with visual wonders and astonishing special effects in a and um that's that's it but for that but so yep we got the label print date is this is a reprint from may 12 2004 here we have minority report with tom cruise two thumbs way up by a, a masterpiece by Ibram and roper spielberg's sharpest brawniest most Bustling Entertainment since Raiders of the Lost Star by Richard Corliss at Time and David Anson Newsweek says this film or Tom Cruise gives his most potent action performance. And Roger Ebert of Chicago sometimes says this is a film that reminds me reminds us why we go to movies in the first place. This this and the next film are both from 2002. The label print date is December 27, 2002. Here we have Catch Me If You Can, which is again with Tom Hanks, but also with Leonardo DiCaprio. Supremely Entertaining by Stephen Holland of the New York Times, and one of the best films of the year by Joel Siegel, Good Morning America. Uh, Joel Siegel, Good Morning America says, Movies don't get much more fun than this, and the Associated Press says this is an incredible tale as the most flat-out fun movie of the year. Got the label right here, and then the blockbuster sticker, since this is a former blockbuster rental. Next up, we have The Terminal from 2004, which is again with Tom Hanks, but also with Catherine Zeta-Jones. There's a humanity in his humor, a sweet and delicate comedy, a film that to take your breath away by Roger Ebert of Chicago sometimes. Tom Hanks gives a beautifully nuanced performance by Peter Rayner of New York Magazine. We got the label right here. I mean, the disc right here. Sorry. I mean, technically, it's a label because, you know, disc artwork. But anyways, moving on, we have War of the Worlds, which is the remake from 2005, which is again with Tom Cruise. Uh, Steven Spielberg at his best by Jules Steele, Good Morning America. I also have the original, but this is the remake, as you know. Explosive nonstop action by Claudia Puig of USA Today. And also... And, um, Tom Cruise's finest performance by Gene Shelda today. And for features, it has um, includes a special feature designing the enemy tripods and aliens. Oops. Got the disc, and then we have an insert there. Next up, we have Munich, which is also from 2005. Steven Spielberg's a bullish feat yet a masterpiece by time and Peter Travis of Rolling Stones hails this as tremendously ex exciting got the disc and then we have got an ad right there 
just showing these kind of quick but that's no big deal since i got a lot here we have indiana jones and the kingdom of the crystal skull which is the the fourth indiana jones film and the final one he directed richard corliss at time says this is a non-stop thrill ride and roger ebert chicago sometimes says this is a sensational awe-inspiring spectacles um yeah roger ebert did a lot of reviews on spielberg's films uh well ones that were posted on the the dvd covers and the vhs covers well more so dvd but not really much for the tapes but anyways finally last but not least this is the one that was not included before because i didn't have it but now i have it ready player one from 2018 be excited for by eric davis and fandango and for features it has journey alongside steven spielberg and the cast for over 90 minutes of bonus content loaded with easter eggs 80s nostalgia and how they achieved the impossible plus more got the disc and with that that is it for my steven spielberg movie collection 2024 edition and i will see you again some other time soon one of these days as usual as i keep saying so but anyways that is it, and I'll see you again soon. Pardon me for the burp, but anyways, like I said, I'll see you again soon, like I said.